What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Crypto Night. I am Elmina, your host. And tonight, we're looking at the charts. Of course, my favorites. And we're going to be talking about an exit, buddy. That's right. All right, let's get started. Bitcoin. Of course, um, just like I didn't want it to come down here, I also didn't want it to come down here. But it is quite obvious that it needed a close. It needed to come here. And in actuality, it needs to go way deeper. But I would say that that is sufficient to bounce. I sure hope so. I mean, this, I would say that's a good bottom. Which means Bitcoin should be turning up to the, going to the upside, which is doing now, right? We're all greens, so let's go to the top of the chart. Uh, we're looking at Tezos right now. Tezos bouncing off. Also came up and came right back down lower than the first drop, which is perfectly normal. XRP, I mean, uh, XLM, same thing. And uh, XLM is also completing. This is our first drop. We're talking about the um, uh, the grazing bronchiosaurus flag <laughs> yesterday. And, um, and I kind of drew what was supposed to happen right and I think it's coming here maybe another little drop up there two three jump right or it could just go straight on up who knows XLM and XRP are poised to go they've closed off they're done see when it came down here first it was done no, down here first it was done now it's done done right there's a wrap right here it's uptrend from here on out so and you know it might come back and do that same peak let me see if i have the drawing on here uh no i do not so same scenario uh drop up drop same thing you know so on and so forth now let's continue Shiba Inu, of course, just like I told you guys to be careful with this, it did continue going down and it ended up closing right there, exactly where it should. Now, again, it can continue coming down here, which is um, 0. 0.000004, I mean, 1451. It can, but I would say that's sufficient. That enough, Shiba. <laughs> So Shiba should be going to the upside from here. Neo, same thing. They're all ready to go. They've all retraced. Look at that. Closed it up real beautifully. Still moving along. Upside from here. Luna. All right, Luna, we still have our drawing on here. Let's see. There's your second ear, right? We did have a drop here. There's the second ear. And of course, they're still missing a little drop here. It's not necessary, but it very likely will happen. I would say 12.559 for Luna before it can blast off. It can do it real quick though. All right, who we have here, Gala Games. Gala Games came back, shut down just like, uh, it looks real similar to uh, Shiba Inu's chart. As you can tell, one, two, three. Now let me go to Luna. Sorry, that was Gala. And there it is. Same chart. Bounced off there. Look at that green powerness right there. I think upside is what's coming next. Flare token completed the red rooster flag. <laughs> I have the tendency to draw a curve. I don't know why that is. Like if they can actually curve in like that, but this should have dropped there. It completed the flag. There it is. Bounced right off of that thing. Is upside from here for flare. Dash, same thing. Although you know, Dash still has some more to go. It might, it might drop a little more. I would say down here, or even down here, to thirty-one twenty-five. Maybe a final destination for Dash. Still may need to retrace a little more. Now, uh, Casper. Remember, we we're talking about Casper. This is the completed Bart Simpson flag for Casper, and it shut down the whole thing. There it is, a total completion. So now, guess what? Just like when it dropped right here, you see all that little zigzag thing? That's what you're watching here. 
right? So next thing, pop to the upside. I don't know, same thing I would say. Let's just put that range right there. Let's go for uh, 0 0.4812, 4 uh, Casper. Headed towards the upside now. Uh, maybe a little playing around a little bit, then jump off just like that. Let's see who's next. Big Bitcoin. Bitcoin, of course. We just checked it out, and as you can tell, it continues to the upside. Only logical upside is what's coming. Let's see here. So no, no twelve thousand dollar Bitcoin. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but there is no twelve thousand dollar Bitcoin coming for you anytime soon. All right, so let's see here. This is AMP. AMP also retraced. Not sure. I mean, you look at this flag. That looks quite powerful, right? So I don't think downside is there for it anymore. But if it does come to the downside, AMP will be hitting 0 0.007324. Is what I'm seeing for AMP being still in a retracement position. But all of these, forget it. It's on like Donkey Kong. Now, we are done with our charts. Let's talk about a exit buddy. What's an exit buddy, you may ask? An exit buddy is that person that you speak to about crypto all the time. And you're both either, it's always important to have somebody that knows more than you when it comes to crypto, especially being new, you want somebody who knows. Uh, of course, there's somebody, there's gotta be somebody that, that comes along with you through the ride. The ride is nuts. So there's gotta be somebody to keep you on point and say, remember, this is the sell point. This is the exit time. This is when we jump. And, and, um, and with this uh, support for you, it is less likely to lose money or to get caught. Once these things pop off and they come down from their high, whatever their, their high is gonna be, um, and it comes down, in that scenario, you're stuck until the next bull run, which very likely is in the next four years or something, right? So you don't wanna be stuck there for years. You wanna be able to get out on time, especially if this is gonna be what everybody is describing as a, as a massive altcoin season. If you're still in altcoins, sorry for all the people in Bitcoin, That's I would say that's it for Bitcoin for now. I sure hope it does continue to go, but man, that paints a scary picture. But so far, Bitcoin did great for, for this run, and it's time for the altcoins to go. But when this happens, it's so crazy that you need two eyes or four screens because you can't keep up with the market of how fast it goes and when to sell, right? So that's the point of the exit buddy. Having an exit buddy is all important as illustrated right here. Find your exit buddy. You have your exit buddy. Yeah. Okay, Squirt here will now give you a rundown of proper exiting technique. And that's so wild because there's they're about to come off of this cyclone of terror is what uh, Nemo's dad calls it. And that's exactly what's about to happen for us in cryptocurrency. We are about to go through the cyclone of terror. And it's so chaotic that you can get caught in your emotions, greed. And then once you get caught in this drop which this exact type of patterns will happen as we jump up you're going to see all these patterns we've seen so far happen over and over again the question is when is it time to get out all the way when is it time to get out just to get a better position uh as it drops and then you grab it when it's going back up that is the point of the exit buddy where you both uh keep in touch to the degree that you guys are both watching the market maybe some one of you guys works or you both work and sometimes you can't have your phone at work so it's very important to have somebody to always remind you to always prompt you hey look at this coin this coin's taking off this coin's taking off. we're up this much in this coin so that you can have a 
a exit plan set that that both parties follow that way you don't get too greedy or overhold and and things of that nature which ends up being uh not profitable the key to this whole thing is to make a profit right to to get out with some money and get out alive more more than anything so you don't want to lose it all with this kind of stuff because uh it takes four years to get it back so with that being said find your exit buddy find that person that you can count on that that is knowledgeable that is willing to to ensure to have your back regardless of how good you are you can't have eyes on everything and you can't know everything maybe somebody sees something in the chart you don't valuable information comes from the weirdest sources in the weirdest ways so don't miss out on that valuable information and i'm pretty sure you're gonna have a good time in this alt season this is a minor until next time